welcome to Draw the Day Creative Videos. I'm Alex and I'm a glass artist. I also work as an Arts for Wellbeing artist for Cartwheel Arts. I've made this video so that you can follow along and I'll show you what materials you'll need. Today's activity is all about having fun. So grab some materials and let's work together. Today's activity is rearrange the picture. You're going to need some paper, some pencils or crayons, some scissors and some glue. Don't worry if you don't have pencils or crayons, you could always use paints or ink instead. Don't forget, if you're using scissors, always ask an adult to help. And if you do decide to use paint, always cover the table. We're going to start off by decorating some of our paper. So in front of you, you should have some different coloured pieces of paper and some background paper. Okay, so for now I'm going to put the background paper to the side. What we want to do to start off with is to decorate our paper in any way we can. Now this could be using paints if you have them, but for today what I'm going to show you is using crayons and pens. Okay, so to start off with, I'd like you to create as many different interesting patterns as you can. So here, on this piece of paper, I'm going to create some squiggly patterns. So I'm going to start off by drawing some squiggly lines. You can draw actual pictures if you like, or it can be just pretty patterns. I found it really relaxing just to draw abstract lines. There we go. Right, I think I might use some blue. I might do that on one side of the paper and then fill the other side of the paper with something completely different. So I might do some straight lines, I might do some crisscrosses like this. There we go. I might bring some orange into it too. I might do some spots of orange. Maybe in some of these diamond shapes. Think of all the different patterns you can come up with. And try and fill your page as much as you can. On the next sheet, I think I'm going to draw an actual picture. So for this one, I think I might draw a flower. So for this, I'm going to use some pens, but you could use paints or crayons or anything you like. Here I'm going to do the centre of the flower is a big yellow circle. I do a few flowers like that actually. Fill this page with flowers. There we go. And then we're going to have some leaves and some petals. So here I'm going to do the petals first. I'm going to have some nice pink petals. There we go. How can you fill your paper? Could you draw pictures of things you see? What about things that you like? You could fill it with animals, you could fill it with drawings of people, you could fill it with drawings from nature. Anything that you like. There we go. I'm going to do some little lines on my petals. And I think we'll fill in between with lots of green leaves. So let's have some stems wiggling off in lots of directions Let's have a 
few more. So you can see this page is getting nice and full now. Let's have a few more leaves and in between. So leaf shapes. There we go. Maybe have a look out your window, see what you can see, see if you can draw something. Are there any birds in the sky? Anything else you could draw? There we go. So that's my next piece. And then on my final piece, I think I'm going to do some more abstract patterns. So for this, I'm going to mix materials. So I'm going to use a bit of crayon to do some stripes of colour. So with crayon, you can use the side of the crayon to colour as well. You don't just have to use the end. So here I'm just doing, you can't see it very well because it's in blue, but I'm going to do a few stripes of colour. And some green. So I've got some background colour to start off with. There we go. Let's add a little bit of yellow to brighten it up a bit. There we go. And then I think we'll add some pen on top. So here I'm going to add a little bit of red on top. So we're going to have some little sweeps of red in among it. Don't forget you can pause at any time. So as you're working alongside me, if you feel you need a little bit more time, just press pause and restart when you're ready. Right, I think we'll add a bit more blue to this. So I've got some pencils as well. Now pencils are great for adding details too. So I'm gonna add some wavy details here. You could fill one part of the paper with one pattern and another part of the paper with another pattern. So here I'm going to do some different patterns down here. Some little crisscrosses. We'll have down here, I think we might draw some fish. So here I'm going to draw some little fish. What else could I draw? Any ideas? Let's have a few little fish. It's great to see what you're creating. So as you're making things, don't forget to share them with us afterwards. Few different fish there. Maybe let's have some little yellow ones. I'm going to put a little yellow fish here. So this is my underwatery picture, I think. So we've got flowers and now we've got a bit of underwater. There we go. And maybe another little fish up here. Okay. How's it looking? Is it getting there? Fantastic. Okay, so uh, some final details. I think I might use a pen. So a great thing to use to add patterns and details if you're struggling for crayons, pencils or paint, a biro. A biro is fantastic. You can do so much with a biro from basic drawings down to complicated patterns. So let's just draw on some zigzaggy lines using this biro here. Some waves in the water. 
and we could always have a bit of seaweed as well so let's have a look at maybe some seaweed growing up here aim of this part of the activity is just to fill your paper so fill it as much as you can you can spend plenty of time on this bit and let's have a look at your work in progress there we go so we've got some seaweed going on there maybe another piece down here there we go Okay, I think I might go back into the first one a little bit more. I'm going to do some... Oh, what else could I do? I could do lots of little dots. So I could fill a whole section with lots of little dots like this. If I was using paint, I might run the paint down the paper. I could also paint lots of different stripes of colour. How about rainbows? Rainbows are great. Has everyone been drawing rainbows recently? There we go, so we've got lots of dots there. What else can we add? Maybe some... Ooh, how about some spirals? Can't beat a good spiral. Let's have some different colour spirals over the top. So here we'll do some overlapping spirals, I think. I find it really relaxing just to draw abstract shapes. Free your hand. Let it be expressive. There we go. So now you can see this piece is looking quite full. This piece is quite full and this piece is quite full too. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to cut up our paper. Okay, so this is the fun bit. Have a think about what the image is that you want to create. Here I'm making an image of a boat on some water with the sun in the background. But could you create a landscape of hills with a river running through it? Could you have flowers? Could you have a picture of yourself, maybe? Just be as creative as you can. So the first thing you're going to need here is you're going to need some scissors. Now, when working with scissors, don't forget to ask an adult for help. This is where your background piece comes in. Now, I'm going to lay my background piece down to start off with. And the first thing I'm going to do is create the C. OK? So here I'm going to cut some wavy pieces of paper for the C. Now if you were doing flowers you could cut out petal shapes. If you were doing your face, maybe you could start off by cutting out the background of your face, so the shape of your face, like a big oval shape maybe. So here I've got my first wave that we can go down. Right, the next thing I want to do is cut a straight line across. So I'm going to cut a straight line across because I've already got a wave made there for me. There we go. And we're going to do another wave. You can have waves of different sizes. Again, if you were doing flowers, you could have different sized petals that overlap each other. If you were doing your face, could you create bits of the eye? So could you create the outside of the eye? Then the pupil. There we go. I'm going to do a nice thin one now. How's it looking? 
you should have quite a few different layers of ocean now. Yeah, oh, we've got a bit of seaweed in this one. And a couple of little fish. There we go. We might not need all of the paper, but that's okay. We can save it for later. So the first thing we're going to do is place our first bit of paper. Now what you'll need is some glue, either a Pritt stick or some PVA will do. And we need a little line of glue along the back. Don't cover all of it because you don't want the whole thing stuck down. So we just want a little line of glue here and we're going to place that at the bottom of our page. There we go. So a bit should flap up. Can you see like this? That's what makes it look a little bit 3D. Then we'll do our next one. So if you were doing flowers, what you'd want to do first is put down your biggest petals first and then work towards your smallest petals on top. If you're doing your face, you want to be sticking down the face shape first, then adding things like your nose, your eyes and your hair on top. There's so many different things you can do with this technique. You can make it 2D or you can make it 3D. Here, yeah, just tuck this one behind. Just make sure you tuck them behind so there's not too many big gaps underneath. Here we go. Just pull it along a little bit there. And we need a bit more. This can be a little bit fiddly, so just take your time. And if you need to pause, that's absolutely fine. There we go. You can start to see you're getting some 3D waves coming here. You see that they stick out from the page. If they're not sticking out enough, just fold them over a little bit. Fold them forwards. Have as many layers of waves as you want. You could have a little bit of sea, or you could have a whole ocean. There we go. I think I might add this one back at the bottom there. Just add this here. It's quite nice having a little thin one at the bottom. So you can get some real texture. Now fold over bits of your paper towards you. That'll give it that idea that the water's actually coming out of the page towards you. There we go. Then we've got one more piece of paper here. I think we might as well just put that one on. last piece of paper let's tuck you in behind this one there now your back one can be flat if you want or that can be 3d too okay so the next thing we're going to create now we've created our ocean is we're going to create the boat so here i'm going to use yellow for the base of my boat but you can use any color that you like whatever you have to hand so find one of your drawings and we're going to start cutting it up so here I'm going to cut up a boat shape. So I'm going to make a sailboat in my case, but you could make a big ship if you preferred. There we go. You could even put characters on your boat, such as the owl and the pussycat. You could have a nice green boat, couldn't you? Okay, but here we've got a yellow boat. So we're going to tuck this in behind the last set of waves so it looks like it's actually riding in the sea. Or we could tuck it in there. Actually, let's try tucking it in there. So we're going to glue the base of our boat down. Again, don't glue the whole thing, just the bottom half. So I think we'll tuck this one in behind this wave here. And then you just fold the top a little bit and that'll create 
the rim for the edge of your boat. Now all boats, if they're sailboats, have a mast. So here I'm going to cut out the mast for my boat. So we need a strip of paper, a long strip of paper for your mast. Okay. There we go. So here I've got the mast for the boat. Fantastic. Okay, so you can see we've got the mast, we've got the boat and we've got the waves. Now, can you remember, I made this piece with flowers on it. Fantastic. What we're going to do is we're going to use this piece to make, you guessed it, the sails. Okay, so here I'm going to cut out some triangles for my sails. Now we could have really, really big sails. I think that's a little bit too big, don't you? Okay, so we'll just cut it down a little bit more. There we go. We've got a smaller sail there. That's a bit better. So let's glue that down. Again, leave the edge of the sail so that it can blow in the wind. So let's just do the inside of the sail to attach it to the mast. There. We'll let this bit blow in the wind. Okay, and then we need another sail for the other side. So this is usually a little bit smaller or a little bit wider. They're not often exactly the same. Here again, I've done it a little bit too big, so that's fine, we'll just cut it down a bit more. There we go. Fantastic, so we'll glue that one down. How's yours coming along? Brilliant. I think I might bend this sail a little bit so it looks like it's caught the wind. Here we go. Okay. So let's get rid of some of this scrap. Don't forget to put all your rubbish in the bin. And then what we're left with is our beautiful landscape artwork. Now here you can create a sun to go in the sky. You could create birds. You can add as much as you like. But for me, I think this piece is finished. I hope you've enjoyed following along with this video. And if you did, please like and share it with your friends and family. We'd love to see what you've created today. So please tag us at Cartwheel Arts and hashtag draw the day in any pictures that you put online. Or you can email your pictures to admin at cartwheelarts.org.uk and we'll feature them in our Draw the Day online gallery. Until next time, keep creating and goodbye. Thank you.